There's a crow mossy. All right, we have to be really careful. Oh no, it's walking towards us. What if it sees us? All right, don't panic, don't panic. Just wait, 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 and no, we got away. <laughs> We are not very good at hunting yet, and I think it's all my fault. Oh, there's a little squirrel, but I think we'll get there eventually. Maybe we'll luck out with this squirrel. Oh no, I chased the little squirrel away. All right. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cat Tells. And we are back in the alpha exploring with our young cat, Mossy, uh, who I am unfortunately not helping at being a very good hunter. Oh, there's a little bit of plant though. At least we can gather up plants. We can manage that much at the very, very least. But thank you guys so much for all of your amazing excitement and support for Mossy and for Cattails. Remember guys, this is an alpha, so we are just barely wiggling. <gasps> a mouse! A mouse! I think Scout really loves mouse! Mice! Mouse! Mice! Meese! There we go. Alright, come on. Come on, we've got this guy. Oh, we got him! We finally, we finally got a mouse, thank goodness! We have something to eat or something we can give to the other cats as a gift. Oh, and look, look at this cool light. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I think Mossy actually really loves these kinds of lights and these fireflies. I think building up a big, beautiful den absolutely full of glowing fireflies and saying that for some reason, her little den is just a great spot for fireflies to gather in the beautiful, beautiful little bush that she lives inside of. Uh, that just would be so magical. I think she really enjoys that shiny things. She's a cat who loves shiny things. Ah, uh, oh, dang it. And the little mouse sensed us. I saw that little guy and was going to try to catch him. Oh, shiny thing. Mouse. Er, mouse. Oh my gosh. Firefly. Poor Mossy. I need to feed her. All right. And then we've got a little chipmunk hiding along the fence line here. I wonder if we're going to be able to catch it. Ah, oh, it saw us. Dang it. All right. Well, we still, oh no, there was a mouse. <laughs> we still definitely need to work on leveling up our hunting skills so that we don't starve Mossy to death. But, oh, did I get it? Almost. But there are definitely some other big tasks that Mossy has suddenly found herself taking on. And I'm so excited, guys, because I think we have a friend for Mossy. Oh, gosh, and I'm just chasing all the food away. All right, well, let's go ahead and get her back home. We'll settle into our den with our brand new firefly. There we go. I mean, just imagine turning this den into a cave of fireflies. We're already well on our way there. Also, I did get some tips from Falcon himself, who is De Tyler, who is developing the game. And if we come into our den and hit R, dun, 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 we can rotate between all of the different items we've been collecting. That is so much easier. And that would allow us to come on over and doink drop our little firefly right down over there and decorate our den much easier. Well, that's fantastic. It'd be kind of cool if you could like rotate and then I wonder, yes, yes, look, you can flip through all of your items without having to open your inventory and we can just go ahead and give Mossy the little mouse to eat. And she's still kind of hurt and a little bit wounded from the very exhausting fight that she got into down by the beach. She is a collector cat. She really loves to gather up little items. I mean, look at her treasure. Look at her treasure. We have a whole bunch of plants. We have a little bit of catnip hiding back here as an emergency rainy day fund or perhaps a wonderful gift for a friend. And we've got a really cool seashell that she really actually loves. Mossy just likes collecting shiny things more so than collecting plants. I thought I'd be able to make her a plant collector but she's definitely turning into a little treasure collector instead let's see and let's go ahead and eat this squirrel what's the point of just leaving it on the ground uh if we're like really hungry there we go but not only is she a treasure collector oh look at the clouds go overhead this is beautiful this is really cool wow wow oh that's so peaceful I feel like I want to be a cat and just curl up right here and take a nap and just watch the clouds go by overhead because this is very lovely. I wonder where everybody else is. We should say good morning to everyone because not only does Mossy want to be a collector cat, but she's also very interested in figuring out what treasures are hiding throughout the entire world. So not just her fireflies, but also stumbling on seashells. She went to the beach for the very first time and found a little treasure and she's really curious about what else a lot 
lies beyond the borders. But she's learned very quickly that going beyond the borders can be very dangerous because of all of these, all of the battles that are raging on. The other two colonies are always pecking away at our territory and trying to steal what may be ours within our zone. They're very rude cats. And Mossy's realizing if she wants to live safely and happily in the forest colony, she might need to help out. So actually, I like the idea of Mossy coming down and when Scout's around, befriending Scout. Not so she can learn to fight, but so that she can learn how to sneak through the bushes and learn more about these invader cats without having to lift a paw for battle. Mossy is going to become a spy. And I really love that idea because there's actually a skill we can give Mossy, an active skill called diplomacy. And we're gonna try to send our little Mossy out into the surrounding area so that she can do reconnaissance missions, gathering up and foraging items, studying what animals are best to hunt in the different areas, gaining experience, and eventually gaining the diplomacy skill. And then we could use that in the contested region to gain lots of power instead of having to put Mossy's life at risk by fighting because we're not very good fighters. We're not even very good hunters yet. Uh, I don't think, yeah, study prey is something that we definitely should be doing in the future too. And there's a warp to the temple. Hmm. So I think rumors of this temple may start reaching Mossy and we'll have to explore over there at some point too. But first off, let's say hello to the mayor. I have a feel, I'm just like, I love the mayor. I want to be his friend. So I think Mossy really likes the mayor and she really likes scouts. So we'll start with befriending them, exploring the area, turning her into a spy, gaining the diplomacy skill, all while trying to gather up little treasures, fireflies, and searching around the world to see what surprises we might stumble on. All right, so all of that said, greetings. Stay sharp out there and don't wander too far from the borders. The forest colonies an established government here, but that was not always the case. Many years ago, as my mother told me, our people came from far west to settle here. According to rumors, the original settlers who founded our home liked this place much better than the previous dwelling on nearly every way. Well, yay, Mayor! I'm so glad about that. Uh, do I have anything? I think he likes mice. Did I give him a squirrel last time? Let's go ahead. We'll, we'll risk giving him this just in case he enjoys a little bit of squirrel. Okay, so he I think he really, really loves mice. And I really want to find out what Scout actually enjoys. Hey, Scout! Because I feel like we should do some training, some spy training with Scout. Learning how to sneak. Sneaking with Scout. Look at this. Ah, oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Hey, Scout. Good morning. Huh? Do you need something? Did you hear me whistling a little while ago? Oh, I sure hope not. Ah, oh, he's so cute. Do you need something? Let's see. Yeah, so he's still obsessed. Oh, 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 Scout. Scout, Scout, there's a, there's a chipmunk. There's a squirrel. I keep thinking it's a chipmunk, but it's a squirrel. Scout. Scout, why isn't my little... Whoop, don't move. Whoop, up. Oh. oh, this is so cool. I wonder if you summon allies, if you can... Oh, he went up the tree, Scout. Darn. Oh, hey, Chestnut. Nice to meet ya. What a lovely day. It may not be for everyone, but it's perfect for me. And Xavier, what's up? Be safe near the rivers. The current is strong and can easily sweep you off your feet if you aren't careful. Thank you, Xavier. All right. Well, there's a lot of kitty cats uh, in this area. Oh, there's the, the lavender, but it hasn't grown back yet. So let's go ahead. I think that Mossy... Oh, there's a cute little butterfly. Get it, Mossy. Get it. Get it. Mossy, it's so cute. Mossy, get it. Eh. Okay, we got it. Thank goodness. And there is... Oh, there's some food. Okay, let's sneak up. Oh, we got it. I'm so proud. All right, let's try again. The, I figure the different areas we hunt in, we can say we're studying how, oh, there's another fi a little firefly, a little butterfly. I can't get my flies correct today, apparently. Ooh, and there's a there's a black fly if we're gonna just mess up all the flying things names. AKA a crow, did I get it? Ah! All right, eventually we'll figure out how to really be a good hunter with Mossy. But what was I saying? Uh, anyway, I figure when we're studying up the different areas and hunting in the different areas, it might be really fun to imagine that we're studying what kind of prey live there. Oh, this is such a cool thing! Oh my gosh, it'd be fun if sometimes you walked into that, you chased out prey. But it'd be fun to imagine that we are chasing away, or, or like we're studying different hunting tactics for different areas, or studying what prey will show up in different areas more often than others. So not just wandering around, 
when we gain experience in certain zones, we'll say we're also gaining the experience because like down here, there's bunnies and I haven't noticed bunnies closer to the territory's main camp. Ah, dang it. So maybe bunnies are only down to the south of the map, which would make a lot of sense. So outside of our main forest colony territory and closer to the beach. And I think Mossy, she wants to gain those skills. Okay, look both ways before crossing. Oh, there's a butterfly. The butterfly, got it. <laughs> but I think Mossy, um, oh, and there's a bunny. There we go. Is very interested in learning to sneak with Scout. Ah, we were so close. We were right, oh, there's some licorice. We were just like right on that bunny's tail and then he got away. Is he gonna stick in the area? Can we chase him? Oh, there's a butterfly. Oh, there is the bunny. There's the bunny. Okay, hang up, butterfly first. And then is the bunny still there? Can I still get him? Can you, oh, there's another bunny. Okay, let's try getting this bunny instead. He's walking right towards me. Ah, cause they fill you up really well. I think that hunting rabbits would be a very good endeavor. Come on, bunny. Can I, can I still get it actually? Like if you chase it down? Hmm. Ah, see Lily. What the heck? Help. Contested area. Okay, let's see if we can, okay, she doesn't seem as strong as some of the past ones. How do you know when she's gonna be taken out? Okay, hang in there, hang in there. We're doing battle, we're doing battle. I should probably make our claws stronger. All right, see Lily, take this, take this. <gasps> We won! We won our very first battle, holy days! I don't know about that. I, I would have preferred battling the bunny, but, oh please, oh my gosh, we were so close. I really need to work on, uh, oh, let's just go ahead and eat it. I really need to work on hunting better with poor Mossy, and now she's hurt. So let's go ahead and use that golden seal, and I think she'd be very annoyed, just kind of licking her side angrily that we managed to get caught because I don't think she likes the battle battles uh, unless she can get something out of it like if they started dropping items and I think she has a long way to go when it comes to being a good hunter but up, 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 up. oh man are you kidding me here can I can I sneak up on these two can you chase them into a spot and then like oh my gosh <gasps> What? I didn't know you could chase them. I thought you only could like do a little bit of surprise crouching. Man, if we can be faster and we can be sneaky and learn the terrain and the layout of the land and then chase prey into corners like that, this is why Mossy wants to learn uh, reconnaissance instead. She wants to study up the layout of the land and know where she could chase certain animals instead of having to rely entirely on her somewhat, somewhat lacking uh, pouncing skills. Oh, look at all the fireflies that are out over this is so pretty out over the beach and I, I know it's actually set up so that if you want to choose to like decorate different areas like put plants out or put some fireflies out so instead of keeping the firefly we just killed uh let's see i think this is it uh then you can actually go ahead and drop it there we go and now there'll always be like a little red firefly there so if you want to decorate the world like we used to do in untold tales that's something you can do which i think is really cool <gasps> another seashell i hope there's tons of oh another seashell i hope there's tons and tons of different kinds of seashells to collect but all right so we have oh oh, oh there's a white a white firefly ah oh, that would have been so cool look at all the fireflies just running along the beach collecting fireflies. You know what I would love to do? I would love to get the active skill to summon allies so that they can come and just walk around with us. And we can say that we're just exploring the beach side with our friends. That would be really cool. I think we definitely need to work on that. But all right, let's try to get home and out of the contested areas. Oh, there's a little mouse. Ah, oh, dang it. And see, I think he can actually zip away. Yeah, so Mossy probably wants to start studying the different areas around her and learning the land really, really well so that she knows where she could possibly chase different creatures into corners. Ah, and rely on her sprinting skill to catch prey. <gasps> like that! We just got a rabbit because we sprinted after it instead of just trying to creep up on it. I think that she's learning that she prefers stealth and speed, but she's not very good at uh, sneaking <laughs> sneaking up just yet. So we need to learn from Scout and hopefully we found some prey. Dang it. And I think bunnies are exceptionally sensitive. Let's see. Come on. 
Ah, ah, dang it. But I think bunnies are exceptionally sensitive to us too. So they're able to get away a lot easier. But I think we'll befriend Scout and we'll say that that's how we're going to be learning. Uh, oh dear, it's like midnight. We need to get home. That's how we will start learning uh, how to sneak better. And we definitely need to study up the different areas, learn the layout of the land, and that will allow our little mossy to be able... Let's wiggle up and then we'll eat in our den. Oh, and you know what we could do, guys? We could put down some of the fireflies we've been collecting to light up the area around camp. Look at that! We could make a really fun little firefly just chain. Let's see if I can find another firefly. There we go. And just start dropping fireflies here and there to create kind of like a little illuminated area. That's so cool. So we can alter the way that our actual camp looks too. Well, I think that sounds fantastic. All right, Mossy, let's go ahead and pick out some food for you. Uh, actually, here, we're going to, oh, okay, we're going to sleep instead and then we'll eat breakfast in the morning. There you are, my dear. So befriending Scout, so we can learn how to sneak and become a spy. That's step number one. I think that becoming a spy is going to be a little bit harder than we're giving Mossy credit for. <laughs> Let's go ahead and eat a nice squirrel for breakfast. But we'll get there with time, we'll get there with time, and we might not be able to gain a lot of experience from attacking and fighting all of the other cats, but gathering up a whole bunch of plants and butterflies, and possibly being able to sneak around and uh, figure out what the different what the different areas have to hide in terms of prey and excellent hiding spots. That sounds like the kind of work that might be right up Mossy's alley, especially if there's a chance we could stumble on some more of her favorite little treasures, like the scallop. Oh, this is so cool. I think she likes the beach, but I'm kind of curious about what may be up to the north. So I think we may go and we'll try to befriend Scout, and then I think we'll go explore up to the north and start learning more ways that we can gain our skills and eventually become a proper spy with a diplomacy skill in the future. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.